Have you ever felt like there are forces working against you? Or does it feel like there is a force pushing or pulling you into what you do not want? Do you encounter failures and setbacks when you are on the verge of succeeding? Do you lack favor in your life? Are you always been overcome by negative emotions? Does it seem like misfortunes are trailing your life, family, businesses, careers, or professions? Is your life moving contrary to your redemption packages and God's blessed promises? If any of these are your case, well, it is a suggestion of a stronghold or dark powers operations against you. And as such, this prayer is for you. And the good news of it is that after this prayer, things will no longer be the same for you. Your change and transformation will be evident. Strongholds are usually strong satanic opposition or manipulation to rob believers of their redemption packages. They are forces that are opposed to your breakthrough and successes in life. They are the contenders over every good thing that is to come your way. Their aims are either to discredit God, His words, and His promises or mock your faith, by seeking your allegiance or trying to coerce you into seeking help from them. But the good news is that Christ has defeated them and had given us the power of victory. But like the Bible says, God has sent the carpenter that is going to demolish them as we pray, in Jesus' name. The Bible says in John 16 verse 33, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Christ has actually overcome the devil, and has given us the power to appropriate or leverage his victory, to defeat the devil. In Revelation 12 verse 11, the Bible says that we have overcome him, the devil, by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of our testimony. But still, we have got to understand how to appropriate the victory into our lives, before we can fully enjoy the victory. But still, another good news for you today is that, the time has come for you to be rescued. In Psalms 102 verse 13, the Bible says, You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her, yes, the set time, has come. Today is your set time for victory over the devil and his evil works. Your hour of deliverance is here. The hour has come for you to possess your possessions. The time has come for every work of the devil to be routed and destroyed in your life and family. In the name of Jesus. In 1 John 3 verse 8. The word of the Lord says, that it is for this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, as we pray, every work of the devil in your life, your career, your ministry, your business, and in every area of your endeavor, shall be routed and destroyed. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ, every power or force, that says you will not make headway in life, shall go down for you, in the name of Jesus. Every stumbling block in your way, shall be turned into stepping stones for higher grounds, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. Dear Father Lord, I come unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. In 1 John chapter 5 verse 14. Your word says, that, this is the confidence that we have in you, that, if we ask anything according to your will, that you hear us. And therefore dear Father Lord, I come unto you in this confidence, being that, it is your will that we are free, from the devil and his manipulations. For you declared, dear Lord in Luke chapter 4 verse 18. You say the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me. To preach the gospel to the poor. He has set me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. And recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those who are oppressed. And in John 14 verse 13, you say that, Whatsoever I shall ask in your name, that you will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Therefore, dear Father Lord, I ask in the name of Jesus, let every stronghold of the devil, in the life of every one of my listeners, be routed and destroyed by fire, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let every plot and scheming of the devil and his cohorts, against the lives of all my listeners be scuttled, routed, and destroyed. In the name of Jesus. For as it is written in Mark 16 verse 17. That these signs shall follow them that believe, that in your name I shall cast out devils. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, 
I cast out every devil behind the predicaments and misfortunes in the life of all my listeners, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. As your word says dear Lord in Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. That for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I come against every manipulation and bewitchment of the principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness, and the spiritual wickedness in high places, I render their powers and oppression powerless, in the mighty name of Jesus. I stifle and paralyzed every negative energy and influence operating in the life of my listeners, in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear Lord, by the power and authority that you have given me from your word. In Matthew chapter 16 verse 19, where your word says, And I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth, will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth, will be loosed in heaven. Father Lord by the authority and power in these words. I bind and cast into the abyss, every devil or demon or powers behind the delays in the life of my listeners, in the mighty name of Jesus. I destroy every stronghold of the devil, holding any of my listeners here in bond, in the name of Jesus. I lose everyone here, who is under any form of evil siege and spells, in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every siege of limitation in the life of everyone here now, in the name of Jesus Christ. As it is written in John chapter 8 verse 36. If the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Therefore by the power of the word of God and in the name of Jesus, I set free everyone here, under any form of captivity. In the name of Jesus. I declare delivered right now, on anyone under any form of satanic strongholds, in the name of Jesus. I set free anyone under the stronghold of sicknesses and diseases. A stronghold of delays and hardship. A stronghold of barrenness and childlessness. Stronghold of slavery and servitude. The stronghold of rejections and lack of favor. A stronghold of ill luck and failures of all forms. Anything that does not glorify God in your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I nullify every negative influence and evil manipulation against every listener, in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare, null and void every enchantment, every divination, every curse, merited and unmerited, for Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us. For it is written, Cursed is everyone that hangeth on a tree, Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. Therefore in the name of Jesus, every curse is at this moment routed and destroyed, in the life of every listener, in mighty name of Jesus. I counteract and neutralize every projection, every control, every teleguidance of the devil, in the life of every listener here, in the almighty name of Jesus. For it is written, in Isaiah 54 from verses 15 to 17, that behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Therefore in the name of Jesus, I destroy every conspiracy against every listener, in the name of Jesus Christ. In verse 16, you said, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work, and I have created the waster to destroy. Verse 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Father, by the authority of your word, I decree and declare null and void, every spell of poverty, delays slavery, servitude, stagnation, backwardness, near success syndrome, and other acts of the devil, in the life of every listener here, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. For dear Lord, in your word of Isaiah 49 24, you said, shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? And in verse 25 you said, but thus saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered, for I will contend with him that contendeth with thee, and I will save thy children. Therefore, dear Father Lord, I ask for deliverance for every listener, irrespective of the reasons or the causes of their captivity. Father Lord, let your mercy prevail, let your love overrule every contention of their captors, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
For you says dear Lord, that, you will have mercy on who you will have mercy, and compassion on who you will have compassion, and that you desire mercy over punishment. Therefore, Father Lord, let all my listeners enjoy your mercies and compassion. Let every negative judgment against them be recanted, reversed, and dropped, in of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus Christ that speaks better things than the blood of Abel, speak mercy, forgiveness, and cleansing for them. In the name of Jesus Christ, give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. In the name of Jesus, and for their shame, Lord I ask, that you give them double, double blessings, double promotion, double favor, double of all that they desire, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let every conspiracy and craftiness of the crafty, against them be scattered and dispelled, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every altar speaking or seeking vengeance against them be silenced, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you dear Lord for answering, for in Jesus mighty name I pray. Amen. For further assistance, particularly as it relates to prayers and counseling, you may indicate interest in the comment box. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video, consider subscribing, and leave the notification button on so that, you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.